spent three months exploring Italy in our little rusty van jitters. And now we're back in the UK. But there's one chapter we didn't share with you. If you've seen our Positano film, we touched on it at the end. But this is the full story of our last few weeks in Italy and what's next for us. We had an incredible time in Italy, but we are back in the UK now and we have been for some time. And there's one last chapter of Italy that we want to share with you before we go on to the next adventure. Jiggly Wiggly, did you know that loads of people have said in the comments that you're cute? But also loads of people haven't said that. That means that they must think you're horrendous. Thousands of people think you're horrendous and about 200 think you're cute, Triggs, according to the data. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to beautiful Italy. Adam and I are driving to Puglia, which is as far south as we're going to make it on this trip. The last time we left you, we were in the stunning Positano. Stunning. It Positano. was just absolutely gorgeous. And we're being really, really lucky at the moment because the weather is holding up. Yeah, it's summer is overlapping into winter. It's incredible. <laughs> so t-shirt weather, short weather, so fingers crossed. Yes, yeah. Hope it holds up. Yeah. These roads are absolutely beautiful. I love driving roads like this. And there's just olive trees everywhere. Um, I definitely look at an olive tree in a different way now. Uh, ever since spending hours toiling over them in Tuscany making olive oil. Um, but yeah, these kind of roads are my favourite roads. They're a bit lumpy. So maybe that could be the one place to improve, but they are so cool. <laughs> a fine example of how Treggy has really just got to grips with van life. He's the perfect van life dog, especially with Jits. He doesn't actually care when we make the bed around him. He's just, we could just throw him around and he's just comfy wherever he is, Not he? throw him around, place him gently around. <laughs> <laughs> The sun is out. We've got a morning to explore before it clouds over and we head back to Jits and crack on with work. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go make the most of it. We don't have an exact plan. We don't know much about this city. We know there's a beautiful cove that we're heading to now and then we're just gonna make it up as we go. A concha fugindo do som Já à beira desse sumir Afundo na maré que vem O motorista me sorri E de viver para essa simples Um dia para ser feliz Tirando um tempo só para a mão É a casa que pede pis so what do you think? Oh, I love it. It's so different to anything we've been to before. And yeah, well at the moment we're in the shade, so I'm not so keen on going for a swim <laughs> just yet. But we went back, got our swimmers, so we'll we'll give it a go when when the sun comes in. No, I wonder when that will be. Yeah, look at it guys. So cool. So we bailed on the swim because the water was cold and the sun wasn't coming around and we were hungry. So we left to go and get some food and everywhere's closed. Everywhere's closed. Um, there are like four places we found with great options and none of them are open because it's off season. So we're just going to head back to Jits, carry on with our day and uh, yeah. Maybe find some caves. Maybe find some caves. <laughs> making our way back up north and Adam struggling to get out of bed Triggy struggling to get out of bed I've got the kettle on It's colder again, it's colder, definitely Winter around life? Winter mm -hmm. is coming 
We would have loved to spend longer in the south of Italy and wait for the sun, but unfortunately there are only a certain amount of days that I'm allowed in Europe because of Brexit, but that's a story for another day. So we are now in the Abruzzo region. It's a region I haven't heard of before. Um, it's got the sea, it's got mountains. It looks lovely. What we've seen of it so far is lovely. Um, and the reason we're here is because we are looking at properties, but like little properties that are a project, not so much big properties. Um, and and that it's is, a lot cheaper here than anywhere else in Italy. That's why we're here. It's a lot cheaper here than almost anywhere else in Europe, which is why we ended up here. Um, and yeah, it's really interesting to see. We've got two viewings tomorrow and yeah, we're gonna see what happens because this is a potentially a 2023 project. The following morning, we woke up to the most striking sunrise we'd seen during our time in Italy. We started the day slowly. details of one of the little properties that we're going to go have a look at to see what we think of it. So we're recording a Q&A episode for our podcast later on and we had people submitting questions and one of the questions that has come up on Instagram has been what is our criteria for our house viewings? So what is our criteria? I don't really know. I think we want it to be a project that we can restore and make our own but we don't want it to be literally falling apart yeah and we want it to have a nice amount of land for us to be able to grow our own trees and mm -hmm. food and things like that yeah um and yeah i don't know I, i'm really going to need to see what's out there yeah to work out what the options are I just want to make sure that there's enough land as well so that we can grow our own food and I know there's going to be olive trees yeah. and we want to grow lots of fruit and veg. That's the main thing isn't it and park up jets. <laughs> yeah and park up jets so I think one of them says like flat land so we're like yes. <laughs> <laughs> There be light. So the land that comes with this house is just really, really long and thin <laughs> um, and basically only has olive trees in it. And something we're looking for is much more variety of trees. I know we can always get new trees, but that's kind of not the point. Um, and yeah, there's also, as Tanya said earlier, there's also neighbors very close. Um, the land is also completely flat, so it doesn't have a great deal of character. And the building is quite small, so yeah, this one isn't, it's not selling it to us yet, so. No, and I think, I, I kind of feel like when we find the place, we're going to have that feeling. Yeah, and you will be able to visualise it more. Yeah, so kind of just straight off the bat, I want to say this one's... It's not for us, I can't imagine no, us coming here, no. But still interesting, really interesting, I'm glad we've come. Yeah. Because that's it, part of seeing what you do want is seeing what you don't want. Whew, on to the next one. property because it feels really higgledy piggledy has character you know it's been lived in you know it's been loved and I can totally see us putting our stamp on it and making it really cozy and a really nice place to to turn a house into a home and also to host people although <laughs> there's so much space but it'll still be really nice but there's a pizza oven learn to make pizza and bread and yeah, look, then here's the, the bedrooms. Wow. 
Trini is excited because he got his first piece of fan art. That is so good. That is amazing. This is all thanks to Kira Wall. Thank you so much for sending this it over. It really does look like him, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, Trini. Amazing. You're famous. Thank you so much for doing that, Kira. It's beautiful. We made our way back to the UK to prepare ourselves for the next chapter. We bumped into our friends Alex and Emma from the Travel Beans. They were on their way to Europe the same day we got back to England. And I, reluctantly, took Trigger back to Mum in Ireland. Bye! Until next time! Do not try to board or leave the train. Looking at places in Italy was very, very exciting, but on reflection, I think we got a bit excited and a bit into the moment because it's not something that we want to rush into yet. We haven't decided, we definitely haven't found the place we want to live. We haven't decided even really where we want to settle down. We've even looked at Portugal, so that's somewhere that's on the cards too. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it's just not something we're going to rush into. It's definitely a project that we're going to be doing more in 2024. Yeah. Um, but before that, before that, we are having a break from van life. And we're going backpacking. We are going to go backpacking. We're going to come back to the Jits in the summer. But until then, yeah, we're going off backpacking. We're going to explore places that are a bit more tropical. Go and make some films off in the middle of these, like, sunny places. Because <laughs> um, if you couldn't tell, we're back in our lairs. Yeah. It's grey. It's just rainy here in England. Yeah. And yeah, we're looking forward to it. And we'll probably, to be fair, if we can squeeze in a couple of van trips abroad, I oh, would yeah. love that. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a few places that we want to try van life <laughs> in that is very far away from Europe. Um, so yeah, that should be fun. Um, but yeah, we better get packing and get going. Yeah, we've got lots to do. <laughs> lots We're to do, not a lot of time. In very, in very little time. Oh, it tickles. <laughs> so I just want to address this situation here. Um, one of my best friends is going in for brain surgery because she has a brain tumour. Um, so she had to shave her head. So for moral support, and in aid of a charity to support people who are going through what she is going through. Uh, a big group of her closest friends and her family all shaved their heads last night. Um, and it was actually a really fun evening. Um, but yeah, look at me, this is me with a shaved head. I actually went through a middle stage of having a mohawk, which was actually quite fun and I nearly stuck with. Um, but Tanya was like, no, sh shave it all off. Um, so yeah, just so you guys understand what's going on here. And if anybody wants to support my friend, um, then the link describing in more detail about what's going on and why it's important is in the description below. So yeah, if you've got any spare change and you can donate to that amazing charity, then it'd be very, very much appreciated, however small, it'd be very, very much appreciated. Um, and yeah, here we are packing, because tomorrow we are flying away. Yay! I'm leaving so my hair great. behind. <laughs> After our final bit of packing, we had our last night in Jits. Last meal in Jits, for now anyway. We then turned everything off and put on her rain jacket. So that is it, we are off. We're leaving Jits until the summer. So make sure that you are subscribed to follow along on the rest of our journey. Yeah, I'm so <laughs> I'm gonna miss you so much, but she's got a jacket on. She's yeah. fine. She's gonna have a little rest. And she needs gonna, a bit of me time. Yeah, and we're gonna chase the sun and take us, take you with us. Oh. Yeah. Oh. See you there. Bye. <laughs>